Tabletop settings in a restaurant refer, of course, to everything that's on top of the table. It sends a very powerful message to your guest about the meal that they are going to enjoy. It is also something that provides all the tools that a guest needs to enjoy their meal. It is the decoration as well for the space within which they'll enjoy their company and their dining experience. When you're choosing tabletop, it should match your restaurant. If your restaurant is casual, you may not have tablecloths. You ha may have bare tabletops or even formica tabletops. You might have a bottom cloth on your table covered with paper. You may have linen only on your tablecloth. It sends a message about the elegance of the meal or how casual the environment is, and it's an important part of creating the experience for the guest. One of the first decisions you need to make about your tabletop in your restaurant is how will it be covered? Is it a bare table? Is it a table with linen plus paper that's changed between each guest? Is it table that has linen for each guest? This sends a message about the elegance or casualness of the dining experience that you're offering in your restaurant, and it provides the canvas or the frame for the art that is the food. You also need to consider what style of service wear you're going to have on your table. Will there be a simple setting of a knife and a fork? Will there be two forks, a knife, a spoon, and a wine glass? All of these send messages to guests about the type of experience they're about to have and make sure that they have what they need to enjoy their dining experience. You also have an opportunity with tabletop in plateware to provide beauty at the table. Now, there can be very simple serviceable plates in a restaurant that are fine, plain white, and they can do the job. And that's wonderful because it provides a very plain background for the food to show its vibrant color and to look appealing and appetizing to the guest. Or you may want to have very fine and intricate china in different shapes and sizes, square and oval and rectangular. These provide excitement at the table and more interest for the food as it's presented. It's also true that glassware is a key component of tabletop. You can have very sturdy, simple glassware for all of your beverages, or you can have a different glass that is used for each type of beverage. You might have a glass that's specific for water or for iced tea, or a glass that you use for beer, and a different glass that you use for, for wine. In addition, you might want to consider having a candle on the table at dinner time. There is almost always, and there certainly is in the city of New York, a fire department permit, an open flame permit that's required if you're going to have candles on your tabletop. You might want to have a small vase with a flower as long as it doesn't get in the way of the interaction of the guests. The most important thing about tabletop and the choices that you make is that there not be too much on the table. Too much on the table is uncomfortable, it's awkward, it feels claustrophobic. The table needs to serve as an appropriate place for all of the food and dishes to be placed and to feel comfortable for the guest as they dine. Music